Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and creator of the Create Cosmetic Formulas program. Now, I often get asked, how do I add herbal extracts to a formula and how do I know how much to add to a formula, especially when you're getting started? Now, I've got some great free YouTube videos about herbal extracts, including one on how to make your own herbal extracts. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Create Cosmetic Formulas program to pick and choose different types of herbal extracts and how to add them to your formulas easily. So first, make sure you log in. And in this example, I'm just going to work with a serum to show you how to pick and choose different extracts to use in your formula. Now, one of the things the program does for you is helps you pick and choose the different types of ingredients you need to create that product form. In this case, we're making a serum. Now, when it comes to picking herbal extracts, your herbal extracts will fall into one of two categories. They will be an active ingredient or they will be an added extra. The types of herbal extracts that are considered active ingredients are those with efficacy data, clinical proof about their effectiveness and claims. This is an example of the type of efficacy data you'll see with a material that we would consider an active ingredient. While you won't see that sort of information with what we call an added extra type of extract, you'll just see a description about the material. Now to help you pick and choose between the many different extracts that are out there, if you click in the added extras selection tab, you'll see we have a huge amount of extracts listed for you in the program. Now, if you're not familiar with using the program, remember you can go to our cosmetic ingredients supplier list page from our website and find a supplier near you. The better you get to know the suppliers that are near you or in a country near you, the more ingredient choices you'll have. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a supplier from America and Australia since they're opposite sides of the world. But remember to find a supplier that is near you or in a country near you so that you can expand your choices because different suppliers will be great at supplying different types of materials. So if one supplier doesn't have what you need, you do need to be prepared to find another one that might have the materials you need instead. And of course, I'm picking one from the USA and Australia because they're opposite sides of the world. So one of them will hopefully be a little closer to you too. I'm having a look at Formulator Sample Shop. They have a huge array of extracts to choose from. I'm also going to be taking a look at New Directions who also have a huge array of extracts for you to choose from. Remember in this video, I'm not discussing what we would consider active ingredients, those with efficacy data. I'll cover those in another video topic for you. Today, I'm looking specifically at what we would consider the added extra extracts, those without the efficacy data. And they are often in glycerin, water or ethanol as their base. Now, different suppliers will have different types of extracts, which is why I've written the choices into the program like this. You'll also see I have listed an extract of your own choice. As long as it's glycerin water or ethanol based, it will also work in the formula where you see this as a selection. And of course, that video where I show you how to make your own extracts gives you a chance to make your extracts in glycerin or ethanol. It's up to you and they can be made from dried herbs. So if you can source dried herbs, you can make any type of extract you want. Now in the program, I've also written the types of benefits or products that each different extract suits. So it helps shorten your selection process to pick the extracts that are going to specifically suit the type of formula you want to create. Let's take a look at how we might source them. So let's look for a ginkgo extract. So I would use the search bar of the supplier, type in the first word, and here I have an extract. Straight away, this one here, we can click on it and have a look and see that it's in a glycerin base. So if we have a look at our choice here, ginkgo leaf extract in a glycerin base, it's perfectly suitable to use. 
You'll see there was another choice too, ginkgo powder. So let's click on that one. And we can see that it is definitely a powder form. Now when you sign up to subscribe with the Create Cosmetic Formulas program, we tell you how to use powder extracts and convert them into a suitable glycerin water or ethanol base. So if you can only source powdered extracts, we tell you how to use them too. Let's take a look on the New Directions site. We're going to look for ginkgo again. Again, you can see it comes as a powder form. And once you've subscribed with us, you'll get an information sheet explaining how to reconstitute the material to its liquid form. You can also see there is a ginkgo leaf in a water base. So again, it would suit the program perfectly to use this material. So let's select this extract and let's just pick another couple as well. Remember to check the suppliers that are near you to make sure they stock those materials. Now, once you're in the formula, you can then write how much you want to add. The program is preset with limits to make sure that every formula is going to work for you. So if you try and add too much, it comes up with an error message and tells you there's something wrong and how you need to fix it. So if we go back and fix that, you'll see the program's happy and you can proceed with the rest of the formula. And once you select the rest of your ingredients, you can click on generate method and here is your full formula and method to help you put the product together. You'll see my extracts have all been listed out for me so I know exactly what phase to add them in, what stage of the formula to add them in and how much to use. If you're not sure how to read a formula, please watch my video on how to write a formula which explains using the percentage weight input method to make sure every formula turns out exactly how you want it. Well, there you go. That's how to pick and choose different herbal extracts to use in your cosmetic formulas. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please have any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to createcosmeticformulas.com so you can get picking and choosing the herbal extracts you want to use in your formula with confidence so your formulas turn out right every single time. Happy formulating.